One is I would try to contextualize the immediate incident that uh, that's being described here, this particular event in Providence, Rhode Island. And the way that I might do that is by looking at other events taking place in Providence, by supporting this document with other descriptions of the event. I would hope I could find in letters or diaries or descriptions of this tea burning that took place in the marketplace. And I might particularly hope I could find a Tory or a loyalist point of view, somebody who was upset that this happened. And I'd go and look in diaries and letters around the time of March 2nd and following and look for that. The second is, after looking at that particular incident, look more broadly at other places where this took place. And it turns out, if you just follow in in the newspapers and read diaries and letters from the time, tea burnings are not uncommon in 1775. A variety of them take place in New Hampshire and New Haven, certainly in the New England area and on into the middle colonies. You can find examples of gatherings like this. So this kind of event is the second context. The third context, I look at the kind of document this is, which is a report in a newspaper, and think a little bit about reading other newspapers, reading to see if this is typical or atypical. I think it's reasonably typical. There are a variety of these similar reports of patriot events in different newspapers of this time period and to know a little something about how people are reading this. We know that newspaper subscriptions are skyrocketing at this time, and also that people are reading them in taverns. The taverns tend to subscribe, and even people who are illiterate or don't read that well can have it read to them in taverns. So that's one of the ways this kind of document gets dispersed throughout the the colonies. And then finally, I'd want to think uh, carefully about the chronology, about the moment that this represents of March of 1775. It's clearly a divisive moment and a moment when people are under some pressure here in Providence and in other places to take sides, to get out there and not just say, I agree with this or that position, I agree with these rights, but vote with your feet, or in this case, vote with your tea, to show up publicly and to denounce tea drinking and tea drinkers and take a side and get off the fence. And That makes sense. It's March 1775. It's after the Boston Tea Party, which is December of 73. So there's a precedent. These people know there's been destruction of tea, which has been very controversial. The First Continental Congress has met and has encouraged people not to drink tea. So we know these people are supporting the Continental Congress, even though that's never mentioned in here. And it's about a month and a little bit before the outbreak of warfare. So it's a very tense time in New England. 